the living, the animate and the inanimate. Everything is within his disposal to execute his purpose concerning your life. And today we're going to take a text from the book of Ruth, chapter 3. I'm going to read verse 1 to 18. But time may not permit us to do all the reading. I'm going to jump some of the verses. But we're going to connect them together. Ruth chapter 3. Let me start from verse 1. Now, then Naomi, her mother-in-law, said to her, My daughter, shall I not seek security for you, that it may be well with you? Verse 2. Now Boaz, whose young women you were with, is he not our relative? In fact, he is winnowing barley tonight at the threshing floor. Verse 3. Therefore, wash yourself and anoint yourself. Put on your best garment and go down to the threshing floor. But do not make yourself known to the man until he has finished eating and drinking. Watch the reading. In verse 3, Therefore, wash yourself and anoint yourself. Put on your best garment and go down to the threshing floor. But do not make yourself known to the man until he has finished eating and drinking. Verse 6, For the want of time, so he, she went down to the threshing floor and did according to all that her mother-in-law instructed her. Verse 8. Now, it happened at midnight that the man was startled and turned himself. And there was a woman, there a woman was lying at, her, at his feet. And he said, who are you? So she answered, I am Ruth, your maid servant. Take your maid servant under your wing, for you are a close relative. Verse 12. Now it is true that I'm a close relative. However, there is a relative closer than I. Verse 13. Stay this night and in the morning it shall be that if he will not perform the duty of a close relative for you, good, let him do it. But if he does not want to perform the duty for you, then I will perform the duty for you. As the Lord lives, lie down until morning. And let's take the last verse. Verse 18. Then she said, Sit still, my daughter, until you know how the matter will turn out. For the man will not rest until he has concluded the matter this day. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brethren, the story where I read from is a familiar story between Ruth and her mother-in-law Naomi when they returned from Moab back to Bethlehem and it was as though there was no security for Ruth. And the mother-in-law now said, Shall I not seek security for you? For a woman, getting married is a form of security. Having a household, raising children is a form of security. And this was the situation that Ruth found herself without a husband in the land of the people of God. And it was important for Naomi to seek security for Ruth. I don't know what your situation is. I don't know what your circumstance is that has depicted and painted a picture of insecurity. I don't know what situation you're passing through. 
and it looks as though nothing is working out for you. Brethren, I want to encourage you today. The Lord is bringing security your way. And when she sought counsel for Naomi, Naomi gave her an instruction on how to get herself prepared to encounter Boaz. And the Bible said she was instructed to take care of herself, put on her best garment, put on oil upon her head, and go and lie down with Boaz and request that Boaz should take her in as a wife. Brother, sister, I want to ask you, have you done all you are supposed to do? Have you prepared yourself for the best circumstances? And it seems as if it did not work. Today, the Lord is bringing his word your way. And that is why I want to start this sharing in the next moment. Before you begin to send in your prayer points. Because we are going to be praying together. And you are going to see the Lord work out his salvation for you. Sometimes in the life of a man or a woman. It looks and seems as though you are living your life like a fish out of water. Where it becomes a situation that, you know, frustration, humiliation, intimidation, you know, greets you on a daily basis. It becomes a regular experience in your life. Even when you've done what you were supposed to do. You keep asking the questions of why. Why and why again? Without any fruitful response. And even when responses come, instead of these responses bring a sigh of relief, it rather plays a spirit of frustration and disappointment. You keep having a whispering voice as you hear in them, discouragement, Suggesting to you that it is all over. That you cannot make it. In fact, this is the end of your situation. There is no end to your struggle and your suffering. These are the kind of voices you keep hearing. In your situation and your circumstance. Today is prayer hour. A special edition of prayer hour I know. Because I have come in the strength of Jehovah God. The Adonai God. To speak to every circumstance, every matter that has bewildered you. And the Lord has assured me that deliverance and salvation is going to come your way today. And I prophesy unto you that so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice of hope is silence. The spirit of optimism is quenched. Your life is full of lamentation and despondency you do not know where to turn to either to the right or to the left but here comes the word of the lord in the book of psalm 46 verse 1 2 and 4 the bible says there god is our refuge and our strength a very present help in time of trouble therefore we will not fear even though the earth be moved, and though the mountains be carried into the sea. The Bible says in verse 4, There is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God. This is the word of the Lord. He said, there is a river. The Lord God Almighty is our refuge and our strength. Our very present help. In time of trouble. I have come in the strength of the Adonai. To prophesy restoration and recovery. In every situation. In every ugly circumstance. That has come upon your life. Your best days I want to tell you today. Are yet to come. Your better days are ahead. And I tell you even in time like this. In the times of lockdown. In the times of pandemic, in the times when it seems as if 2020 is slipping out of your hand, there is God that is in heaven. He rules in the affairs of men on earth. He's our ever-present help. Those times when you think 
there is no solution to your problem. That is when he shows up to prove to you that he is the Adonai God. Verse 18, where we read today, he says, Then she said, Sit still, my daughter, until you know how the matter will turn out. For the man will not rest until he has concluded the matter this day. Hallelujah. I want to tell somebody who is watching me today and watching this program and listening to me that there is a conclusion on your matter. And this conclusion is coming this day. The Lord is settling your matter in the realm of the spirit. The Adonai God has bought over your case. Sit still and see how the matter will work out in your favor. We are going to take three key points from this verse of the scripture. Number one, in every matter that concerns you, there is a man in whose hands it is to conclude it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Every matter that concerns your life, there is a man, there is a woman, there is a personality somewhere that is in charge to bring about an outcome, to conclude on the matter. Number two, in every matter that troubles your heart, there is a timeline attached to it. That was why Naomi told Ruth, sit still, my daughter, until there is a timeline to every matter that concerns you. And number three, every matter that gives you sleepless nights shall be concluded one day. Hallelujah. There is a timeline to every situation. The conclusion is coming one day. One day be one day. Mokigo go market in your case. And he will not return. The Lord would have settled you. And the rest will be story. The rest will be testimony. The rest will become history of what the Lord has done in your case. So I am telling you today. That in these three scenarios. These three circumstances. In any of these three circumstances, however it may concern you, I want it to be settled deep right in your spirit that there is an Adonai God who is sovereign in every situation and rules in the affairs of man. Hallelujah. There is an Adonai God who is in charge of the man. There is an Adonai God who is in charge of time. There is an Adonai God who has predestined the outcome of your matter. It doesn't matter what any other person has said. It does not matter what principalities and powers have done before now. But as the Adonai God steps in the equation of your life, He's going to take charge and everything will work out in your favor. Hallelujah. May this be the portion of somebody who is watching us today. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord step in your matter. To take over the heart of that man. May the Lord step in your matter. To take over the conclusion of the matter. Let the Lord step into your matter. And bring an end. To your persecution. And bring an end. To your tribulation. And bring an end. To your humiliation. And bring an end to your struggles and your sufferings. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So we're going to consider these three, topic, you know, um, three points as we share with you what the Lord can do in your life. Get your prayer requests ready. We're coming to you live. Soon you will begin to see the numbers to call strolling on your screen. Either in Facebook, you can send in your comments. Send in your prayer points by way of WhatsApp messages or you can call us. But where you find it difficult to reach us, send in your prayer point as a text message. And we will get across to you shortly. And the Lord will answer your prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Number one, to assure you that the man who is in charge of your matter is under the control of the Adonai God. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 1, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. 
He directs it like a water course wherever he pleases. <laughs> Hallelujah. The king's heart. The man who is in charge of your matter. The man on whose table is your case is under the control of the Adonai God. The Bible says his heart, which is the center of life, which controls life in itself, is in the hand of God. And this Adonai God forms the heart of this king like a water course. Whatever direction he wants it to go, whatever decision he wants him to take, he will take in your favor. Hallelujah. Bible says, like a water course. If he meets an obstacle here, he can decide to turn it either to the east or to the west. The Bible says in Ruth, chapter 4, verse 6. I want to read this for you because it's very important to me as we share from the word of the Lord. Ruth, chapter 4. Let me read from verse 6. Or oh, just that verse 6. And the Bible says, And the close relative said, I cannot redeem it for myself, lest I ruin my own inheritance. You redeem the right of redemption for yourself, for I cannot redeem it. Hallelujah. You see, it came to a point that the state and the security of rule was hanging on the balance. <laughs> Hallelujah. For Ruth to have a security in the house of a man in Israel was hanging in the hand of who the Bible calls a close relative. Who Boaz told her in the course of our reading earlier on that there is a man who is closer than I to you. Who is a closer relative? In whose poor view, in whose jurisdiction it is to take a decision concerning your matter. And we are going to watch out. If this man does not do that, I will step in to redeem you. And when the case was presented before the close relative, whose Bible withheld his identity, the man declined. He said, I cannot redeem, because in this redemption, I may turn out to ruin my own household. You see, a man who's, in whose table is your case may have valid reasons why he will not take decision in your favor. There is no problem. The Lord is in charge. There is a man who is standing on your case for seemingly justifiable reasons. This man had every reason because his household was at stake. And he said, no, I cannot handle this matter. Boaz, redeem my redemption right. This is what the Lord will be doing in somebody's life today. Hallelujah. The Lord is coming your way. The Lord is coming into your circumstance to take over the responsibility of a supposedly closer relative. There is a man you've trusted. There is a woman you've trusted. There is a circumstance and a situation in which you have put your trust and your hope. But over time, it seems as if that man is not responding. It looks as if the man is not taking rest. I don't know who the Lord is speaking to in this meeting. But while I was preparing for this meeting, the Lord said, prophesy to someone whose destiny is in the hand of another man who is not willing, who is not ready to take a decision in your favor. And I prophesy to you today, I speak to your circumstance. That man in whose hand is the decision about your marriage, that man in whose hand, on his table, is the decision concerning your promotion, that man, that woman, who has ganged up against you, who has conspired against your destiny, to scuttle and to ruin your future. The Lord is redeeming his redeeming right. His redemptive right, the Lord is taking over. 
his position, the Lord is taking over. The legalistic standpoint on who, on which he is refusing to, you know, subscribe to your favor, the Lord is moving him out of the scene and is taking over. Just like Boaz took over the position of the close relative who was not able, in whose capacity he could not redeem Ruth. The Lord is coming to take over your case. And is bringing salvation your way. In the name of Jesus. That promotion that has been on the table of that man over time. The Lord is moving him. The Lord is shifting the question. The Lord is shifting the balance. In your favor. The equilibrium is tilting to your own favor. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy unto you. Your marriage that has been on the balance that has been hanging on the balance by reason of satanic and demonic manipulation. The Lord is coming over and taking over your case and bringing you to a place of rich fulfillment. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Hallelujah. I am trusting God that your testimony is coming. Even in the midst of the lockdown, the Lord is going to be doing great in your life. I am led to take okay, I'm led to take one or two prayer points before we go on break. And when we come back, we may likely continue on this topic and if we don't come finish today, we'll continue next time. Number 1, in the spirit of the prophecy that is coming, I want to take this prayer points. Number 1, Mr. and Mrs. Femi from Zamfara State. And they said, please, man of God, pray against bad dreams, eating in the dream, and divine healing. Father in heaven, we thank you for Mr. and Mrs. Femi from Zamfara State. Distance is not a barrier to you. We take over the airwaves and we send your angels on assignment onto that household. And whatever conspiracy, whatever gang up from the pit of hell, that has entangled them, O oh Lord, in the realm of the Spirit. We speak for divine salvation and release. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Let your healing be established in their lives. Lord, and give them a testimony. In the name of Jesus. Number two. Sister Deborah says, Please pray for me. My rent has expired. And the landlord is threatening to throw my belongings out. I also suffer from molestation by spirit husband most times when I'm asleep and thinking and things are not working out. Father in heaven, we thank you for Deborah. Father, today we ask, O oh God, by the authority of Adonai, that the sovereignty of God be established in the life of your servant. Open doors that the enemy has closed against her. Financial open doors and spiritual open doors. Father, we pray every form of spiritual molestation shall receive a termination by the power of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we set Deborah at liberty. We set you free by the Spirit of the Lord. Receive your salvation. We cover you with the blood of Jesus. Every connection you have with the demonic world, we severe such link in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Number three, mercy from Medugri. Please, sir, pray for my father. He is not feeling fine. And also pray for my family for God's intervention. Father, we ask, as you intervened in the case of Ruth, through Boaz, Lord, we ask, the heaven shall intervene in the case of mercy right there in Medugri. Lord, we pray and prophesy unto her that divine deliverance, Lord, shall be her portion, healing from above upon the Father in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, intervene in her case. Bring about a redemption in the life of your daughter and secure her future in Jesus' name mighty name we pray as we continue in the prayer points we're expecting you to call or send in your own prayer point 
Because the presence of the Lord is here with us, the spirit of Adonai is at work in our lives. And your prayers shall never go unattended to. In Jesus' mighty name. Another person says, Rose is her name. Man of God, please pray for me. I have pain in my chest. Father, we lay our hands upon the chest of Rose. And we declare every form of satanic pain. Father, call it angina, tachycardia. Every form of pain upon the chest of your servant. We declare the healing of the Lord. Lift up that pain and we cast it out in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Viewers, we want to encourage you to keep on in the spirit. We will go on a very short break. And when we return, we will continue with our prayer point as we expect it to send you us. And the Lord will keep you in Jesus' name. We will soon be back. Don't go anywhere. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, that calls me proud. <laughs>
Welcome back to today's prayer hour. As we continue today, we are trusting God for your miracle. We are trusting God for your breakthrough. We are trusting God that your case shall never remain the same. You see, as I was telling us before we went on this break, that there is a man who is in charge to conclude on your matter. There is a man in whose hand nature and circumstance has committed your case in his hand. There is a man, there is a woman, there is a situation, there is a circumstance. There is a job in which you will find fulfillment. But it may be that for a long time that man is not responding. It could be that for a long time that woman is not coming up with the expectations of your heart. We are praying today that the Lord is going to send a Boaz your way, as it was in the case of Ruth, to redeem the redemptive right of the close relation who has not you know, been able to perform, who doesn't have the capacity to redeem. And that's why we are saying today that... You know, that man shall not rest until there is an outcome. That was what Naomi was telling Ruth. He says, sit still. And that's why we are telling you today, be still. Adonai is working out his purpose. He says, sit still. That man will not rest until he concludes with you. But where he chooses to rest, where that man chooses to sleep, where that man chooses to ignore, where that man chooses to be nonchalant and not concerned about your case and not conclude on your matter, I want to assure you today that another man will take his place. The Adonai God will send another man God, the sovereign Lord, will step into your case and buy your case over in the name of Jesus. It could be your father. It could be your mother. 
It could be your uncle, your close relative, somebody you've trusted so much, who has made a lot of promises to you concerning your future, where he becomes reluctant. The Lord is speedily sending another man to take over his case. In the name of Jesus, he shall break protocols, every legalistic standing, every legalistic right that has been bequeathed to the close relation who is not ready to act in your favor. The Lord is going to take over that such right and establish another protocol in your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy unto you that from today onwards, the Lord is going to rewrite your story in your own favor. The Lord is going to conclude your matter. Adonai is taking over your matter. He is building, you know, your future in your favor. And whatever that has stood between you and your tomorrow, the Lord is taking over. And I want to read Psalm 121 as we continue with our prayer points. Psalm 121. Join me and turn your Bible to Psalm 121 as we pray along. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord, who made the heaven and the earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. This is the word of the Lord. So what we are saying today, if that man chooses to rest, if that man chooses to sleep, the Adonai, who neither sleeps nor slumbers, will take over your case. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's continue with our prayer points while you send yours. We are live on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube. Connect with us. And the spirit that is at work in this meeting today will not let your case rest. In Jesus' mighty name. Solomon Ayuba from Kaduna says, Please pray for my family. My wife told me that she is leaving me because I do not have a job. Father, we pray for Solomon. Lord, we pray today the circumstances that have prevailed in the life of Solomon that is threatening his marriage shall be taken over by the Lord Almighty. In the name of Jesus, we declare, O oh God, that whatever way, in whatever way the enemy has crept into this home to bring about a, sec a separation by reason of joblessness, the Lord is going to plunge that hole and provide for your servant in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. We declare job security for our brother Solomon Ayuba. Justina from Kaduna also says, Man of God, please pray for my health. Whatever be the challenges you are having in your health, from your head to your toe, we begin to speak to your health at this time, that you shall receive divine healing. Let the Lord rejuvenate you. Let the Lord rehabilitate you. Let the Lord bring healing upon your way. And whatever it is that the enemy has inflicted you with by reason of sickness. The Lord is taken away in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, receive divine healing in Jesus' mighty name. Another person wrote and said, Anonymous, pray for God to heal my sister. Financial breakthrough, marital settlement, and that God should deliver me from sin. Deliverance from bad foundation. Father, we ask today, the way you visited the foundation of Ruth, a Moabites that took over the position of women in the house of Israel, so shall it be unto this your servant. Every evil and wrong foundation, every abominable foundation, that has threatened the security of this your servant. Today, we remove and reestablish her 
upon the foundation called righteousness in Jesus mighty name. Amen. You pray for financial and marital breakthrough. Another person wrote and said, Tessie from Podacot. He says, I have been afflicted with a sickness for the past two years and I need God's healing and restoration upon my life. Lord, we pray for Tessie right there in Podacot and every other person who is sick on his or her body. Lord, we speak for divine healing. Lord, from their head to their toe. Lord, in their veins. Lord, along their arteries, in their blood, in their lymph. Lord, their bones and their marrows, their flesh and their cartilages. Receive divine quickening. In the name of Jesus, we pray you are healed. But adventure, you are watching us and you are sick. Healing is coming your way. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Machuku favor. Man of God, please pray for me. For over the years now, I have been married without a child. If I take him, I do miscarry. And I used to have bad dreams. Father, we use Machuku favor as a point of contact. To all our listeners and all that are watching us today, who has been in their ma- who have been in their marriages for a long time without the fruit of the womb, nothing to show for such marriages. Lord, we pray today that the Lord is taking over their case as it was unto Ruth. Lord God Almighty, we pray that the security of the Lord, marital security shall come upon your people and you shall give them the fruit of their womb and they shall deliver, be delivered of their babies in the name of Jesus. As Ruth eventually gave birth to Obed, so shall they have their own children. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing and your womb shall be fruitful. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Another person wrote and said, Mike, man of God, I want God to heal me of back and chest pain and for God to grant me a good job. Father, we pray for your servant, Mike, wherever you may be watching this program from or have sent the prayer request, Lord, we speak forth your word. The Bible said you sent forth your word and your word he let them. Lord, we are sending forth your word, your word of Healing upon your servant, wherever they may be, and let them receive the healing of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing today. For healing, the Bible says, is the children's bread. Lord, today, let them receive the healing from the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Anonymous. And he says, Please, sir, pray for me. My spiritual life is very low. Let God restore me back to himself and also for financial breakthrough that I can get married this year. Lord, we pray for your servant. We declare concerning his case. If he has done what he's supposed to do, like Ruth, Lord, we pray today that you will send help from above. In the name of Jesus, whatever decline in, her, in his or her spiritual up bringing lord we declare today so shall it be unto your servant that your awakening and spiritual revival shall come upon him in the name of jesus lord we pray for financial breakthrough lord we ask oh god that by the reason of your favor oh god your servant will receive spiritual and financial open doors thank you father and may your name forever be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Somebody sent in a prayer request. He says, man of God, pray for my wife for the fruit of the womb, which we have been trusting God for the past 15 years. Theophilus from Jeba. Ha, Father, we pray concerning your servant Theophilus. He is testifying that he has been trusting you. 15 years of marriage. Lord, we pray and we declare that the embargo on the fruit of the womb be lifted in this home. In the name of Jesus, 
we declare concerning your servant Theophilus that as it was unto Ruth, the redemptive right shall be taken over by Jehovah Adonai and the fruit of the womb shall be their portion. Lord, surprise them and give them a testimony. Whatever embargo that the enemy has placed upon their home, be lifted in Jesus' mighty name. Good afternoon, man of God. In time past, I used to dream seeing myself in a Sorok, in the midst of the pres president, vice president, governors, ministers, and other prominent personalities. But in the recent time, I am seeing myself in the village, school, in the village, school, either receiving lectures or writing exams, and at times in the cemetery or seeing dead people. Please, I need your prayers from Moses Kaduna. Lord, we launch out the spirit of deliverance upon the land of Kaduna and we declare the angels of God to locate your servant Moses. And we pray as it was upon Gideon, so shall it be upon Moses. Lord God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost shall manifest themselves in the life of your servant and restore him back to his former glory. Whatever, O oh God, that connects him with retrogression, everything that connects him with the land of the dead, we break such barrier, we break such link, we break such connection in the name of Jesus. The bridge that takes you to the land of the Lord, we collapse in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your deliverance, Moses, and the Lord restore your fortunes. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Good afternoon. Sir, please, man of God, pray for me, for God's purpose in my life, to shine in this season and favor me in my business. Yes, it is your season to shine. It is your season of favor. The purposes of God are being worked out in your life. Even your present situation is working out the ultimate for you. And so we speak to you today. The favor of the Lord is coming upon you. The Lord will shine his countenance upon you. And you will receive the peace of Lord. May the blessings of the Lord follow you in your business. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Man of God. Please help me pray for my marriage and my wife are always fighting each other. Oh my God. Right now, we are living in different rooms and she doesn't join I and our children in family devotion and prayers. I am contemplating for divorce if she continues nagging and abusing me. Lord, sending your rescue team, oh God into this home by the reason of today's meeting lord we declare unto this family oh god marital security spiritual security as it was unto ruth lord sending your angels to deliver and to rescue this family from collapse in the name of jesus let your spirit of forgiveness and reconciliation overtake every member of this family in the name of jesus every whispering voices of despondency and divorce lord with silence in the name of jesus let your home be healed today in jesus mighty name we pray amen let's continue with our prayer points here anonymous please pray for my brother in the u.s who contracted COVID-19. Father, we pray. Today, every spirit of the pandemic or COVID-19, we use this, your servant in the U.S., as a point of contact to every of your ch child located in all the nations of the world. We ask, O oh God, you know, by reason of supernatural extrapolation, that your healing will come upon them in the name of Jesus. In Nigeria and in the nations of the world, let the healing of the Lord come upon your people. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 
if I says, please pray for me for divine healing, I have spent all that I have, but all to no avail. Lord, we pray for if any, Lord, you will restore the years and the days and the months that the caterpillars and the canker worms have eaten. Lord, we pray, restore him back to his former glory. Let divine healing be his portion. In Jesus' name. Winnie sent in a prayer point from Zimbabwe. She says, please pray for healing for myself and my daughter. Father, we bring your servant Winnie and her daughter before your throne of mercy. Let them obtain mercy from you and receive divine healing. Wherever they may be at this time, let the healing of the Lord come upon them. In Jesus' mighty name. Chinasa says, Man of God, please pray that God will lift the embargo of delay and stagnation in my marriage. Lord, we pray today as your servant Chinasa waits and she's still waiting for your deliverance. Let your deliverance come. Let your salvation come. Let your promotion come. We open doors of marriage unto her. And let the will of God be established in her life. As she sits still and waits for the outcome of her matter. Oh Lord, take over. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Catherine now says, please man of God, pray for me. I have pain on my right hand for two weeks now. And I am also looking for a job. I was unjustly fired from my work. Father, we declare unto Catherine, the Lord will step into your case, Catherine, wherever you are, and will give you the job of your choice. Your security is going to be restored to the glory of the Lord in Jesus' name. And the last person here says, Anonymous, sir, please pray for me, my first daughter, and against spiritual strongholds of the evil one, she left home without notifying anyone. Let God touch her heart and return her home. Lord, we pray today concerning your servant daughter who is asking you for a restoration. Wherever this servant's daughter of yours may be, Lord, we pray. Bring her back like the prodigal son. Let her come back to her senses. Every spirit that has overtaken her life, Lord, we pray that your power will come upon her and we cast such spirit out in the name of Jesus. Let her sanity return back to her and she will find her way back to her home. Reunite her with her family. For in Jesus' name we pray. Another person sent in a prayer point. Man of God, I don't want to be a second wife to a married man. I want to do the will of God. Please pray that I get married this year before it ends to a man meant for me after the order of Mark. Lord, we pray concerning your servant. Lord, she has trusted you for the best. Father, give her the best. As you got roots into the house of Boaz, Father, let her locate her Boaz in the name of Jesus. Another person pray, says, please sir, pray for me, financial provision to settle outstanding rents and school fees. My salary at my workplace from January till date has not been paid, save for 25% of April salary. This has put me in a very tight situation. Ba Bariara, Father, we pray for your servant. Lord, we ask for help from above. Let help be sent from above. We release the angels of God in human forms to assist your servant. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you send a caravan from heaven to deliver unto this your servant goodwill from your presence. In the name of Jesus, wherever you may be, let open doors be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Rachel from River State. Please, sir, I want you to pray for me for the fruit of the womb. Let this month of May not pass me. And let every yoke of barrenness in my family be broken in Jesus' name. Thank you, sir. Father, we thank you for your servant. We break the, you know, the yoke of barrenness. Every yoke 
be broken by the reason of anointing. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that your power will overtake your servant and wherever it is that the enemy has capitalized to bring perpetual barrenness upon this home, be lifted in the name of Jesus. Masetush katuliaka. Every hand of the enemy upon your life is lifted up. And the Lord is sending your deliverance today. Your case is being concluded. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Man of God, please pray for me and my family to break every yoke holding the progress of nine male son in my family, Oruche's family. Pray also for me, Onye Kachuku Oruche, for God's light upon my life and business. And let God make my life to be a testimony to the world and anywhere I see myself. I prophesy unto you, I prophesy unto you and your entire home that today the ban of poverty, the ban of unfruitfulness is being lifted from your home. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The nine sons of this home is receiving divine deliverance. In Jesus' mighty name. And we'll take this prayer point before we conclude. Please, evangelist, pray for my four children who are graduates but no job and no marriage that God will intervene and settle them. From Mrs. Obi Medugri. Father, we commit these sons of yours into your hands. Father, we pray, whatever embargo that is placed upon them, by reason of foundation, we lift them up today in the name of Jesus. Lord, do your miracle in the lives of these ones and let the testimony come. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lord, we thank you for today's meeting. We commit our nation, Nigeria, and the church of God into your hands. Father, we pray. That we place the standard of God upon the walls of Babylon established in this country and in the nations of the world. And we speak forth a collapse. And we ask that the church of God shall arise again. Thank you, Father. And may your name forever be glorified. Pray for ACNN. Pray for the Anglican Communion, the primate of our church of Nigeria. Father, we pray for the ministers of God. Father, wherever they may be at this time, ministering to the needs of your people in their various capacities, answer them. Keep the church as one. May your name forever be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We thank God for today's meeting. And wherever you may be, continue to pray. And until we come your way next time, I remain your evangelist, Felix Eze, and will continue to pray for you. And the Lord will visit you. And with your eyes, you will see the salvation of the Lord. Shalom. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, that calls me from... I saw healing. I saw breakthrough. And the song came at the right time. And that's this song is the song of my testimony. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. And as many of you who are right now watching us, and I pray for you that as you join me, as we worship God in this song, God will do something extraordinary in your life. my worship ah. you alone deserve my praise ah. 